money units of money we count money using rupees and paise 100 paise is equal to 1 rupee conversion of rupees into paise to convert rupees into paise we multiply by 100 for example convert rupees 39.75 into paise Rupees thirty nine point seven five is equal to thirty nine point seven five into hundred is equal to three nine seven five. Conversion of paise into rupees. To convert paise into rupees, we divide by hundred. For example, convert three zero two paise into rupees. Three zero two paise is equal to three zero two divided by hundred is equal to rupees three point zero two. Currency used. The coins and notes that are commonly used in India are shown below. Coins used are one rupee, two rupees, five rupees, and ten rupees. Notes used are five rupees, ten rupees, twenty rupees, fifty rupees. Hundred rupees and two thousand rupees. Five hundred rupees. Operations on money: addition and subtraction. We add or subtract money in much the same way as we add or subtract whole numbers. We add or subtract as if the point did not exist. For example. Add rupees fifty point three six and forty one point eight zero. The decimals should be placed exactly one below the other. So answer is ninety two point one six. Example two: Subtract rupees four eighty one point two two from five seventy two point seven six. Subtraction of money is similar to subtraction of numbers apart from the placement of decimals so answer is 91.54 multiplication and division multiplying or dividing money is the same as multiplying or dividing numbers for example multiply rupees 34.75 by 7 Multiplying money is similar to multiplying numbers apart from the placement of decimals. So answer is 243.25. Example 2 divide 7.44 by 6. Divide as if there is no decimal and then put the decimal. You can see that dividing money is similar to dividing numbers apart from the placement of decimals so answer is 1.24 unitary method unitary method is a method of finding the value of a certain number of units by first finding the cost of one unit cost of one unit is equal to given cost divided by given number of units cost of a required number of units is equal to cost of one unit into required number of units thank you